Yo, what's going on folks? Retrospective Dave here, and this is the Air Jordan 4 Thunder Legit Check. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove the insoles and take a look at the footbed. So some of you are gonna receive pairs from different factories. Mine came from LN4, which is located in China, and their footbed is pretty much woven with black threads taped down. So my left shoe actually has the size of the shoe written backwards on the footbed. Um, it's barely visible on cam, but you can definitely see it in person. So if your shoe was produced in LN4, then you may see this, but if your shoe was not produced in LN4, then this may not apply to you. So the next thing you wanna check for are the yellow dots that are found on the back of the yellow tabs on the top of the shoe. And if you take your finger and rub it across those dots, they will be textured, which means that you can feel that they're there. And it should be a total of six. All right, folks, when it comes to the insoles, please make sure that you have Dream Cell insoles. These Dream Cell insoles can be seen on the fake pairs as well. However, they won't be as clear and they won't have the best quality to them. On the authentic pairs, the text and everything is a bit more legible and it's very clear for you to read. So please make sure that you have the Dream Cell inserts. This may go unnoticed if you're not paying attention. So make sure that the yellow tabs on the top are different from the ones on the bottom, meaning that your yellow tabs on the top are gonna to be yellow on the outside and black on the inside. And on the bottom, the yellow tabs are gonna be a solid yellow. So please make sure that you're looking for that as well. All right, folks, here's a shot at the sizing tag. Again, my pair was produced in LN4. So if your pair came from a different factory, then you won't see this on your shoe, but everything else should be identical. My production dates are September 28th, 2022 to December 27th, 2022. Uh, your dates may not necessarily match the ones that you see on screen. However, they should be in the same ballpark. And if you look at the part that says CN, if you look under that, there's a series of numbers and letters there. Those numbers and letters should be different from your left and right shoe. So please make sure that that's the case on your pair as well. So if you look at the matte black parts that are on the shoe, that would be like the cages and the back tab right here. You'll notice that it has a little bit of glitter on each part. So if you take your phone and turn the light on and just flash that light on those parts, you'll see little specks of glitter um, that you won't be able to see without that light. So definitely check for that as well. Hey folks, also remember when inspecting your shoes, please make sure that you have a white air unit. There's so many different versions of fakes out there that some of them make little subtle changes by adding a black air unit or a gray air unit. So just make sure that your pair has a white air unit. All right folks, last but definitely not least, please make sure that you're inspecting your boxes carefully. There should be no stickers or stamps on the box whatsoever. So on the bottom of the box, you shouldn't have any stickers or stamps. On the inside of the box, you shouldn't have any stickers or stamps. Uh, the box does come with two pieces of paper. It should be a thin piece of paper that wraps around the shoe and then on the outside it should be a bigger piece of paper that has the elephant print on it or the uh, cement print on it if you will also folks when it comes to the box please make sure that you're looking at the size of the box and make sure that matches as well so let's say like if you bought the black military force for retail you can compare that box to this box because i believe that they're the same just a different color all right folks and that'll do it for today's episode of guided laces on the air jordan 4 thunder legit check if you found this video useful definitely hit the like button please comment share and subscribe as well and if you have any questions after watching this video and you want to reach out to me on instagram please feel free to do so at retrospective dave and i will be sure to answer any questions that you have about this shoe in particular until then stay fresh blessed and free of stress and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.